Is the Toyota GR Corolla really safe? 2022 Crash Test The hot new Toyota Corolla joins a growing list of hot Toyotas manufactured by the Gazoo Racing Performance Division, including the Toyota GR Yaris, Toyota GR Supra, and Toyota GR86, marketed in other markets. With this power output, the Corolla GR is the most powerful Corolla ever sold in the world. So, is the Toyota GR Corolla really safe? Let's find out. Hello viewers, welcome back to the channel, and we are back with some insane news again. So if you're new here, please hit the bell icon and subscribe to the channel by which you get the notifications regularly. Stay tuned to know more about it and comment your thoughts down below. However guys, it is not the fire-breathing GR Corolla that gets in the US, but rather something a little bit tamer. You see, what we have here is the Toyota Corolla Altus GR Sport. In this video, we get to find out what it has to offer, so let's get started. The 2022 Toyota Corolla has received the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety's Top Safety Pick Plus rating in both trim levels. The company's best-selling small car was already on the list of top safety picks, and headlight updates in November 2021 earned it the coveted Plus. Toyota Safety Sense is powered by hardware and software built into the car. A camera situated at the top of the windshield behind the rear view mirror provides a picture of the road ahead in terms of hardware. A radar sensor, often located in the grille or front bumper, supplements this. Radar sensors at the rear of the car, together with other sensors, may potentially monitor the vehicle's surroundings. Automatic emergency braking accomplishes exactly what its name implies. It applies the brakes automatically in the event of an emergency. You may find yourself on the verge of an accident due to a loss of concentration or unpredictable movement by other road users. First, TSS will provide you with aural and visual cues to supply the brakes. If you don't, automatic emergency braking kicks in if it detects a collision. TSS recognizes vehicles and pedestrians, and in some Toyota models, it also detects bikes. One of your favorite TSS features on the highway will be adaptive cruise control. It maintains an automated following distance from the vehicle in front of you. If you're driving at a fixed speed and traffic ahead slows down, adaptive cruise control will slow down to match. As speeds resume, the vehicle automatically accelerates back to your selected pace. It's worth noting that most new Toyotas include full speed adaptive cruise control, which may keep the vehicle going at low speeds or even bring it to a complete stop. However, it only works at speeds more than 25 miles per hour in some older models. Below that, you must assume complete command. TSS offers lane departure warning and lane tracing assist as well. Lane departure warning detects when a vehicle crosses lane lines accidentally. If this is the case, it will provide you with oral and visual prompts to return to your lane. Most newer Toyotas can also provide steering assistance to aid the car in resuming its lane position. Lane tracing help is available on models with steering assistance. Lane Tracing Aid maintains the vehicle aligned in its lane and assists with steering when the route curves. It's like a helping hand that does some of the steering for you, but not all of it. TSS also offers a few simple capabilities to aid with daily driving. Road sign recognition is one of them, and it can recognize speed limit, yield, do not enter, and stop signs. If you miss the sign on the road, it will appear in your Toyota's dashboard display as a reminder. Another convenience is automatic high beams, which switch off the high beams whenever it detects another vehicle's headlights or taillights to avoid blinding those drivers. The high beams are turned back on when the road is clear. Is Toyota Safety Sense worth the money? Impressed that Toyota puts TSS safety suite elements in so many of its vehicles, considering that they would have been pricey additions on luxury cars not long ago. TSS is an excellent comparison for regular driving. Toyota, however, is not the only mainstream car maker that can claim such qualities. Honda, Mazda, Hyundai, Kia, and more manufacturers include or offer substantially identical technologies. TSS isn't our favorite among the alternatives. The adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist aren't the most polished, behaving erratically at times. We haven't had much need to test its automatic emergency braking, but the automatic high beams and road sign recognition appear to work regularly. TSS is a fantastic addition if you wish to customize a Toyota model. TSS is available on which Toyota models? With a few exceptions, every Toyota model comes standard with the entire array of TSS driver assist and active safety technologies. All of the TSS features stated above are available on popular models such as the Prius, Corolla, Camry, RAV4, and Sienna. Depending on trim, many of these vehicles also include blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic warning as options. Body on frame trucks and SUVs like the Tundra, Tacoma, Forerunner, and Sequoia lack full speed adaptive cruise control. 
Toyota sporty rear-wheel drive vehicles offer few safety features. The manual transmission 86 has almost none, whereas the Supra includes automatic emergency braking, lane assist keeping, and automatic highlights. The Supra can be outfitted with adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, and rear cross-traffic alert as options. Toyota has done it again. Fresh new models are on the market, outfitted with the most recent technological advancements, fuel efficiency, and of course, safety. Toyota Safety Sense 2.5 Plus expands on the six-member fleet of features by improving two essential components to provide more processing power and broader functionality to your new Toyota. Recent enhancements to the renowned safety system are standard in the 2021 Toyota Camry and Camry Hybrid, as well as the 2021 Toyota Highlander and Highlander Hybrid. The latest addition to the lineup employs a single-scroll turbocharged 1.6-liter three-pod engine, which is also used in the famous GR Yaris, but with power increased significantly to 304 horsepower and torque increased somewhat to 370 newton meters. The gains are indeed the result of a triple exit exhaust system, which minimizes back pressure and improves exhaust flow, a new multi-oil jet piston cooling system, larger exhaust valves, and a partially machined intake port. As with the GR Yaris, power is supplied to both axles via a six-speed manual gearbox with an intelligent manual transmission mode, which essentially serves as a rev matching function for smoother downshifts. The top-tier Circuit Edition car also has a pair of Torsen differentials for better grip and core response. The custom 18-inch sports wheels are wrapped in grippy Michelin Pilot Sport 4 tires and supported by ventilated, slotted performance brake discs held in place by four-piston aluminum calipers. Toyota is yet to confirm performance data, although a 0 to 100 kilometers per hour time of fewer than five seconds is expected. It has additional welds around chassis joints and more extensive usage of structural glue between various components than conventional. It's also supposed to be lighter than a conventional Corolla while maintaining strength and safety. The basic GR Corolla has a curb weight of 1,474 kilograms thanks to the use of lightweight materials throughout, and the Circuit Edition takes that idea a step further with a forged carbon fiber top panel and an aluminum bonnet and front doors. Toyota GR Corolla interior and design. Black trim details, gaping intakes on the bonnet and sides, significantly flared wheel arches, and most notably, a large wing arching out over the rear screen are all part of the rally-inspired exterior makeover. This is complemented with motorsport-inspired cabin changes, such as a leather trim GR steering wheel, GR badge seats, and aluminum pedals. The Corolla Altus GR Sport gets a revised front bumper with a larger lower grille connected by false vertical corner air intakes and gloss black strips in the top grille for a luxury look. There are additional side skirts and a rear bumper lip with diffuser-like fins, as well as distinctive two-tone 17-inch alloy wheels. At least the 87,000-pound price increase for the Corolla Altus 1.6 GRS isn't purely cosmetic. Toyota Safety Sense, which includes automated emergency braking, lane keep assist, and adaptive cruise control is also included. In addition to front and rear proximity sensors and a rear parking camera, it incorporates blind spot indicators. It also includes SRS airbags, ABS with EBD, and stability control. Inside, red contrast stitching is used on the leather seats, steering wheel, and center armrest, as well as red accents on other spots, such as the door and handles. A GR engine start button, paddle shifters, and GR braided floor mats are all included in the kit list to add to the sporty look. Because it is based on an existing model, the new variant includes the same features as the 1.6 CVT, such as a power driver seat, a 7-inch multi-info display, automatic air conditioning with rear vents, LED headlamps, rain-sensing wipers, keyless entry, an 8-inch touchscreen head unit, and a 6-speaker sound system. Well, that's all for today, guys. We'll meet you in the next video. Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more updates just like this.